So I tell you, for 20 bucks, uh, it's, it's worthwhile trying to fix your broken transmission this way. Uh, flashing OD light. And it, it wasn't really slipping, it was uh, hard shifting. It was like, and then shift. But every time I stepped on the gas, it wasn't gear. So it wasn't ever like slipping, like I'm stepping on the gas and it's not in gear. I have a 2003 Ford Ranger. It's on a three automatic transmission. Each transmission has had the same problem. The overdrive off light starts to flash. And when it shifts from first gear and two second, it shifts really hard and shifts hard from second to third. Recently, uh, Adventure Truck's been giving me some problems. She's been shifting kind of hard, sometimes revving up uh, high RPMs before she wants to shift. And let's see, I've had her since uh, at uh, 72,000 and now it's 209,000. She's never seen a mechanic except for me and YouTube. And I uh, checked the tranny fluid. There's a nice video. I'll put a link down below how to check the automatic transmission fluid. Oh, and the OD light was flashing. The second transmission lasted almost 30,000 miles. The third transmission only made it 24 miles before the light started to flash. Over here, Right around here, there's something that says OD. When you push on this, on the end of uh, your shifter, when the car is turned on, let's turn it on. Let's see, and when you push on this, it turns the overdrive off. And to remind you, there's the overdrive light. Okay, so it was flashing like this. Um, and it was hard shifting going and didn't want to shift. So we're in trouble. We either need a new transmission and I don't think I could do that myself, me and YouTube and or, uh, or something else. The two replacement transmissions have been Ford crate transmissions installed by a Ford dealer. I have looked around on the internet and no one has an answer for how to fix it other than it's time for a new transmission. I can see how you'd be frustrated by this situation. Is the Ford dealer helping you out to your satisfaction? Ford Focus that's over there had the same problem and I switched out the uh, speed sensor, fixed it. So I'm gonna switch out the speed sensor and let's let's see if that uh, if that fixes it and instead of a thousand dollar tranny job uh, or actually get rid of adventure truck. Venture truck gets to stay around for maybe a couple 10 or 20, 30,000 more miles. Offhand, sounds like an issue with a speed sensor. Okay, now I have adventure truck up on uh, the ramps and blocked. The front tires are blocked. And go underneath. Ah, I'm climbing, climbing underneath, climbing underneath. I like, I like it when it's up on these ramps because I have room to move around up here. So somewhere under here, here, I'm going underneath and get a climb. We're gonna climb on our back and we're gonna look up. And here's the differential, and I believe, I believe that's what we're looking at right here. Same scene, selfie mode. Let's see, so, ah. Okay, so there's a big old bolt there. And this is from the top now. There's a big old bolt, it needs to be taken off, and then there's a electrical connector right there. So this looks like easy peasy. If I had the part, and ah, let's see there we go this is the part I bought it's okay folks Man, I, it's, it's okay folks I'm still alive the speed sensor up off the ground and granddaddy oh, tripped over his box of sockets now I gotta clean off the
the lens. <laughs> so here I am next to the dirty differential. I'm in selfie mode. Let me put my hand up here. And here we are on top of the differential and There. There's the little critter we want to get at. There's the bolt. I think that's 13 millimeter. And then there's an electrical connection around here. Let's see. There's 13 millimeter. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, and that fits. That's gonna loosen it up and I gotta loosen this uh, electrical connection. Let's see if I can get a different view at that. Okay, now I'm sitting under the car. Uh, probably have dirt all over my face by now. And here's the flashlight. Hmm. See if there's enough light without it. And there's an electrical connector here. I can't really get at it from this angle. Well, let me screw with it a little bit. Let me mm, mess with it a little bit, whatever the right word is. Okay, basically, these little wings on either side of this connector, you need to stick a screwdriver in there and pry them apart just a little bit. Not too much. You don't want to break them. I don't want to stretch them out too much. Squeeze them back together. Yeah, they seem pretty pliable still. So there's that off. Now we're going to take this... Uh, Bolt off with a 13 millimeter uh, socket and we'll take out this speed sensor. Come on. Let's break it. There it goes. comes out and there's the connector and here is the speed sensor from this side there it is there it is up there and so I think you just kind of wiggle it it wants to move wiggle it a little bit I think there's maybe a gear in there. Ah! Oh, it's the older ones that have a gear. Okay, so, ah, let's take it. Where is it? There it is. I hope that looks like uh, what I just bought. We'll see. This is what I took out. This is what I got. So let's see. That has definitely a mechanical gear type thing that's going down into it and this is just like electromagnetic sensor or something that's the wrong part so back from the store it's the closest looking piece we could get that looks a lot better totally different here um, okay but that barrel Looks to be the same length, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah, looks to be the same length and end to end. Uh, looks to be the same diameter. Awesome, so we'll put this in, see if it works. A lot better match, a lot better match than that last one. So, when you can, bring the part down with you or take photos. Here I am on my back again, selfie time. So here's the piece. It's almost uh, dark, so I don't know if you can see. Gosh, these cameras, these cell phones are so much better than the old 
digital cameras we used to try to make these videos on. So, fit it in. Hope it fits. Hey, hey. Fit kind of snugly down in there. So next, put in the bolt. Right about there. Wiggle it around till I find the hole. No comment on that. There we go. turns with the 13 millimeter wrench. That should tighten up. Ah, and I think that looks pretty solid. And then where's the flashlight? There we go. And then the electrical connector here. Push that on. Nice and tight. And bend those tabs in, make sure they're connected. So what I just did, this this part ended up being $19.95 plus tax. So hopefully uh, Adventure Truck's gonna run for another 30,000 miles. <laughs> we'll see, because I am not gonna spend $850 or thousand dollars to put a new tranny in you. So so adventure truck, good little adventure truck. Uh, let's see if the $20 fix fixed. Okay, I'm going to come down off of the ramp now, but uh, you should never let somebody stand behind uh, dogs, little kids, anything, because those plastic ramps are slick and slippery, and no matter how I ease off, especially when I'm on hills, sometimes it will shoot out. Let's see what happens. I wouldn't stand there if I was you. Okay, well, I got that sensor in, and it's almost dark, so before we, well, we still have enough light. Now, I never shoot videos holding the, holding the camera. You shouldn't be doing that. So, let me pull over to the side. Here we go. There we go. Let's make sure you have a tripod or something to hold. So, we're gonna find out Okay, there it goes. Ah, there she shifted beautifully. Nice, nice shift. Okay, you now slow, 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 slow. Should go back in the first. And this is a residential street, so I don't want to go too fast. Listen. Ah, beautiful shift. Nice. Slow down, go up here to a slightly bigger street, four lane street, where I can open her up. Okay, so from a stop, that's me. Like head off down that way. So from a stop, there's the first shift. Nice. Nice. I, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have to go get a new transmission now. That's a good thing. Okay, now I'm going to go on the freeway. All right, here, here's the on ramp. And open this baby up. Shifted good, nice and smooth. Nice. Try to get ahead of this truck. Yeah, kind 
of seemed like a long, well, okay, that's good. <laughs> I was stepping on the gas, I don't know if that's overdrive right now, but anyways, got in front of that truck, lip and blickety split, going six <laughs> miles an hour, and uh, smooth, shifting smooth, nice, nice. So there you have it. Uh, sometimes when you need a new transmission, you don't need a new transmission, you need a $20 part. Sometimes when the OD light is flashing, that new transmission part that you need is a speed sensor. And in this case, it was 20, 20 bucks. An adventure truck is running great. Yeah. 209,000 miles. And I bet you I'm going to get a quarter of a million out of her. And she's never seen a mechanic yet. <laughs> oh, well. Good luck with your problem. Oh, and don't take my advice. <laughs> you, 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 you go to a mechanic. This is, uh, this is the way that I keep things together, uh, that otherwise I'd throw them away. So, anyways, so, uh. Try your best and look for multiple sources besides granddaddy -o at Lazy Cow Vintage Thrift and Design. I guess this is a thrift part.